This guy has the best skin in the entire game. Ha ha ha. To counter him, pick someone like Lee Sin, who can juke the hell out of him and also interrupt his ultimate pretty easily with his own. Nocturne can shroud away his only form of chasing and get away pretty quick if he starts to get ulted. Shivana can also ult him into her own team if he starts to channel pretty easily and get him insta-destroyed, since he can do nothing afterwards. Vi because of her push, Hecker him for his speed, push and ultimate, and Skarner for his stun and ult make other good counters if used well, and I must emphasize on this part since people don't get it. Nunu's passive makes him stack every time he autos and at 5 stacks, his next ability has no cost and also deals damage and has effects as if it were improved by one rank. His Q is a second smite that deals a stupid amount of true damage to minions and monsters while also healing him for quite a good amount. His W grants an ally and himself bonus movement speed, bonus AP and bonus attack speed. His E is a point click ability that deals a significant amount of magic damage whilst also crippling and slowing the target. Finally his ultimate will make him channel for up to 3 seconds and create an icy zone that slows and cripples targets and will deal a lot of magic damage at the end of this channel. This guy can be built in a whole bunch of ways. Attack speed, full AP or full tank and based on the build the opponent is going for, he could ambush you in a number of ways. The best I can help you with in fighting him is if he runs off into a bush, walk with care and notice whether you've been slowed. You'll almost definitely find him in the jungle so he'll go for a smite flash combo 95% of the time. As for power spikes, this one's quite simple. In his level 1 he has absolutely no fighting potential so invading one of his buffs might be a smart move. His level 3 is when he can solo the dragon if he has double buff so look out for it and he will probably not see him gank until he's at least level 6 unless the lane is ultra pushed. Most people build him tank nowadays so the cinder elk enchantment will make him extra sticky and deal a lot of damage. Knight's Vow is also great when he's fighting alongside his squishy AP or AD. He's pretty useful late game, does pretty okay in the mid game, but it has a pretty bad early game. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, you'll know he's ulting from a bush if you get slowed, he can easily do jungle objectives early on due to his double smite kit, and he cannot queue an enemy champion, only a minion or monster to get health back up. And he cannot queue an enemy champion, have fun doing it.